Now, where'd you say you were going? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, the war. Well, uh, dress warmly, Boris, and have a nice time. The idea is not to panic and run. Then they shoot you in the back. I don't want to be trampled by a horse. What about you, Boris? Yeah, I want to be trampled by a horse. I don't even want to fight. You think there's any difference whether we live under the Tsar or Napoleon? They're both crooks. The Tsar's a little taller. So if you don't like Napoleon and you don't like the Tsar, who do you think should be running the country? You really want to know? The serfs. <laughs> oh, the serfs. <laughs> right, they're the only ones who know how to do anything. If a fence needs putting up or a picture needs hanging, it's always the serfs. <laughs> he wants the serfs to run the country. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Are you married, Boris? Me, no. You got a sweetheart? No, no, I'm in love with a girl. She's married to someone, and she's in love with someone, and he's married. It's a real healthy situation. Hey, look, Boris, look, look. What do you got there? I got a lock of my wife's hair. A look. lock of her hair? <laughs> Gee, she's probably running around bald. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Yeah. You got a lock of your sweetheart's hair? No, my sweetheart's married. I got a lock of her husband's hair. It's the oh. best I could do. <laughs> Boy, this, this army cooking will get you every time. There's Vichinsky. He was from my village. He was the village idiot. Yeah, what'd you do, place? Oh, God is testing us. He's gonna test us. Why doesn't he give us a written? different when you're in the middle of it than it does to the generals up on the hill. You got, you got anything to drink? No, no, the guy with the beer will be around in a second. Hey, fella, you got something smaller than that. I just started. We started the battle with 12,000 men. When it was over, we had 14 survivors. We got a message from the Tsar saying, keep up the good work. That night, as I was burying bodies, I had another mystical experience. Mercifully, God was on our side. Yeah, I'm sure things could have gone a lot worse if he wasn't. Might have rained. Groshenko. Vladimir Maximovich, you're alive. No, I'm dead. Look at this hole. Oh, does it hurt? I feel nothing. Man, you don't look so bad for a guy who's dead. Actually, better than when you're alive. I think it agrees with you. So do me a favor. Sure, anything. This engagement ring. Uh -huh. uh, I was going to give it to my girlfriend, a surprise. Oh, you want me to give it to her? No, what's the point? Oh, I'll yeah. take it back to the jewelers in Smolensk. Right. Petroshnik, Vladimir Petroshnik. Okay. Tell him I'm dead and get the deposit back. Oh, okay, sure. What'd you give him for this? 1,600 rubles. For this, you gave him 1,600 rubles? Oh, look, this is a diamond know, here. There's two little baguettes I, this there. This is insane. I could have gotten you this ring for 1,200. Not this. Same never, ring with the baguettes. Never that ring. The exact same ring. Never. I, listen, anyway, listen. Take the deposit. Go to Kiev. Right. right. Give it to a woman named Natasha Petrovna. Right, okay. And get a receipt. Make sure you get a receipt. What do you need a receipt? You're dead. Tax purposes. Oh, good thinking. 